Aquarius, you are up for the June love energy reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. The general readings are already up. You can go to the playlist on YouTube for those who are watching on YouTube or not watching on YouTube or not listening um, on YouTube and click on your sign and then your general reading will be there. Or you can click on June Tarot Energy and then all of the June readings will be there. So, yeah. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just the person sitting here reading the energy and the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. If this doesn't resonate with you, maybe the general reading will. If that doesn't, I also plan on doing a money reading in about a week or so. All right, so let's jump into this. I want to use a different Oracle deck right quick. Let's use this one. All right, may I have the energy for Aquarius for June in regards to love? Energy for Aquarius for June in regards to love. Energy for Aquarius for June in regards to love. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? Okay, that... Wow. Okay. So, we got a twin flame situation going on. Thank you. This, it came out when I was putting them back together. This literally flipped away from the deck. So, twin flame. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling complement each other. So we are dealing with a twin flame situation. I have been through a twin flame situation before. (laughs) It's a lot of work. Let's just say that. All right. May I have some cards for Aquarius? May I have some cards for Aquarius? And ironically, my twin flame is an Aquarius. (laughs) So yeah. May I have... Cards for Aquarius, please. Thank you. Two cards came out. It says, the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child. Growth. So some of you with the butterfly, you may be healing your inner child which will give you the ability to help your relationship evolve. Also, one card that's been coming out a lot in my other Oracle deck is the feelings card. People are learning more about themselves, like why they do the things they do, why they tick, why do they react to certain things when in a relationship. Why do they like the things in a relationship that they like? Why are they drawn to certain characteristics in an individual? It's sort of like doing a self-audit is what some people may be doing. And some things may be connected to childhood incidents that spilled over into romance. So, just throwing it out there. The other card that came out is the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. So, there's clarity. This is giving me Ace of Swords energy, is what that's giving me. Because I feel like some of you may be looking for a victory. In your twin flame relationship. Is what you're looking for. What's at the bottom of the... Because I didn't even check. Hammer is at the bottom of the deck. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Interrogation. 
repetitive, persistent, working on it. So some of you may be in the process of working on your relationship right now. I want to take a card or two for my other Oracle deck. Energy for Aquarius for June in regards to love. Energy for Aquarius for June in regards to love. Energy for Aquarius for June in regards to love. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear for June in regards to love? May I have some cards, please? Okay, that's a lot, but we'll take them. Let's see. Spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. So some of you are becoming more spiritual. Cupid. Love is in the air when Cupid is around. Other card, enlightenment. So this is going back to the sword and the rose with clarity. It says enlightenment. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize we are one with the divine. So that... I feel like the sword and the rose, enlightenment and spiritual, these are connected. You're getting some clarity and you're getting some downloads that are helping you, or should I say guiding you, that's the word, thank you, that are guiding you on the right path as for, as related to your twin flame. Now, other card that came out is illusion. Avoid the trap of make of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. Uh-huh. Avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So for some of you, you may think they're your twin flame and they may not be. For others of you, you are actually dealing with a twin flame. Is what's going on. What's at the bottom of the deck? Because I didn't check that. Synchronicity. A divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity. So this is also talking about twin flame. <laughs> is what this is talking about. Because it says a divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity. Something is telling me to tell you. Going back to with the hammer being on the bottom here where it's repetitiveness. Some of you may be trying to force a relationship, force it to work out. But instead of attempting to force it, let nature take its course. Take a step back and let the divine do its thing. If it's meant for you to be together, it will happen, everything will synchronize and those serendipitous moments will then start to occur where you are brought closer together. Again, Cupid is around. So, yeah, just throwing that out there. Let's go ahead and take some cards right quick. May I have the energy for Aquarius in regards to love for June? Energy for Aquarius in regards to love for June. Energy for Aquarius in regards to love for June. What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear? May I have some cards, please? What is it that Aquarius needs? Whoa, that jumped out. What is this? Prince of Swords. Somebody might be doing some spying or research, but also this is message too. Um, the arrows in this deck are swords. So someone could be doing some research or delivering a message. Aquarius, this could be you because this is your energy. So you may be about to say something in the month of June. And oh, wow, I just caught that. Look, Cupid, Cupid, Cupid. There's something for some of you who are dealing with your twin flame. 
you're ready to say something to them more than likely because again, Prince of Swords is your energy. And doesn't have to be. I mean, this could be them, this could be them approaching you, but I feel like this is you approaching them is what this is. And it's saying love is in the air. So this is going on. So Cupid has come out twice now. So someone is about to speak in the month of June. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. These cards, there's another card that turned over too. There it is. See what this is. Now, two of coins came out in the reverse. Somebody was juggling. Might have been you, but now you've made a decision. Queen of Cups. This is Cancer energy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> if my Aquarius... <laughs> oh, goodness. I feel so seen right now. Some of you might be dealing with the water sign, specifically a Cancer, because Queen of Cups is Cancer energy. But Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Also, some of you could be in Queen of Cups energy as well, where you're ready to offer your cup. With the two of pentacles in the reverse, you might have been juggling before, but you are no longer juggling. Now, again, like I said before, if this isn't you who's making the offer, Aquarius, someone is looking to make an offer to you where they were juggling before and now they aren't juggling anymore. They finally figured out what they want. And they want to make the offer to you. Maybe a cancer had you um, competing with someone else or something like that. Or a water sign had you competing with someone else. And now it's like, oh, you know what? I want Aquarius now. But honestly, Aquarius, I feel like this is you. What's at the bottom of the deck? Judgment. Some of you are going in for a second chance. This is a second chance situation. Is what this is. Um... This is pretty direct. I'm not going to drag this out. It's pretty direct. This is a second chance with the twin flame. Is what this is. For others of you, I'm still going back to this illusion card. Right here. Where some of you might think someone's your twin flame. And they're really not. Hate to say it. But the cards are the cards and energy is the energy. Different timeline. So for those of you on this illusion timeline, before you get ready to profess your love, just make sure you are looking at everything, the entire situation as a whole, looking at the macro and not just the micro, looking at everything. The person very well could be your twin flame. Now, let me throw this out there too before I go. Just because somebody is your twin flame doesn't mean that you're meant to be with them. Remember that too. Just because they're your twin flame doesn't mean that you're meant to be with them. But this is the energy. I feel that you are asking your twin flame for another chance is what you're doing. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That is the reading. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, Aquarius, be blessed.